Let's take a look at number three from homework number seven. Um, they give us a function. Here my function is s of x equals 9x minus 3. And they're asking us to use the four-step process to find the derivative. Then once we've got that, they want us to plug some values into the derivative and see what we get. So the first thing we need to do is the four-step process. And the first part of the four-step process is to find, in this case, because our function is s of x, we're going to be looking for s of stuff. So this is going to be s of x plus h. That's the first thing we have to find. And that just means plugging our um, this x plus h into our original function. So that's going to be 9 times x plus h minus 3. I just plugged x plus h in for the x that showed up in my function here. I can distribute that 9. And this gives me step 1 of my four step process. Step two says to find s of x plus h minus s of x. So I'm just going to take exactly what I had here, that's my s of x plus h, I already found that, and then subtract the original function from it. So I get 9x plus 9h minus 3, then minus the original function. Make sure you put it in parentheses, this minus sign has to distribute. So I get 9x minus 3. So this is s of x plus h minus s of x. Go ahead and simplify this a bit. 9x plus 9h minus 3 minus 9x plus 3. I just distributed that minus sign. And now we can simplify some stuff. 9x minus 9x, those will cancel out. Minus 3 plus 3, those will cancel out. And all that leaves me is a 9h. So the third step in the four-step process. So this is to find s of x plus h minus s of x over h. Well, we found s of x plus h minus s of x in this last step, so that's just going to be 9h, that's this piece right here, over h. And if we simplify that, we just get 9. The fourth part of the four-step process that's going to give us our actual derivative, and it's going to seem a little bit silly here, but in the long run it's really not that silly. Um, it just happens in this case to be, um, be a bit of a, a futile exercise. So we want to take, for the last part, the limit as h approaches 0 of whatever we found in 3. So this limit as h approaches 0 of s of x plus h minus s of x over h. And so for us, that's the limit as h approaches 0 of 9. Now the rule for taking limits as something goes to a number is to plug that number in everywhere you see an h. So go ahead, plug a 0 in for all of the h's. Um, we've done it. There are no h's. There's nowhere to plug that in. And so it turns out our answer really is just 9. Okay? So that is your derivative. So for your first blank, where it says s prime of x, we used the four-step process and what we came up with was 9. And now these next ones are going to seem a little bit silly too, because they're asking for s prime of 3. So they're telling me to plug a 3 in for every x in my function that I found here. Well, there are no x's, so I can't, there's nowhere to plug anything in. The answer is just 9. s prime of 2 is just 9. There's nowhere for me to plug that in, so the answer is just going to be 9. S prime of anything is going to be 9 in this case. And so this is a little weird. It doesn't usually work out that way when you're doing the four-step process, and you'll see that in the next question. Uh, but in this case, when we did the four-step process, we just came up with a number for our derivative. And if you've got a number without any variables, then that derivative, no matter what they're asking you to plug in, is just going to be that number again. So, four-step process says find s of x plus h, which we did by plugging x plus h into our original function. Step two says find s of x plus h minus s of x. Well, we already found s of x plus h, so we could just copy that down, and then we subtracted the original function, making sure to put it in parentheses so that we distributed minus signs correctly. 
Step 3 says basically take whatever you found in step 2 and put it over h. Well we found 9h in step 2, 9h over h is 9. Step 4 says take the limit of what you found in step 3 as h approaches 0. Well the limit as h approaches 0 of 9 is just 9. And so that gave us our answer for the first part, that s prime of x, or the derivative of the function that we were looking at, is 9. And because there are no variables, no matter what they ask us to plug in, the answer is always going to be 9.